the thought process. The thought process. <laughs> oh. So these are going to be the plates for the winch to mount to. Um, I don't have a plate wide enough, so I'm just going to put two three inch plates together. That should be wide enough for it. And then this plate will get welded to that plate will get welded to this old hitch. I'm going to cut it off, add an extension to it. So I ended up leaving about an eighth inch gap just to fill it so that it gets good penetration on both pieces. I'm going to weld it here, weld it there, weld it underneath, and then I'm going to cut this out flush and put a cap on that tube. We'll take a quick look at the finished product. So you've seen me build the receiver tube. This is what the winch looks like with the plate. Got the fair lead welded on. I welded it on instead of bolting it just because this is the last time this winch will ever get used. I swapped out the old power cables on the winch with a quick connect. I buy all these quick connects off Amazon. They work really well. I have a couple on my truck. 
Um, but that one's not long enough to reach the one on my truck. So I have another set of them. I'm just going to use this other cable and make a jumper between the winch and the truck. So we'll get set up over at the vise and uh, show you how to connect these cables. So first thing I like to do is figure out kind of where you're going to want to strip the wire back just so you don't strip a whole lot back. And I prefer to use a knife instead of wire cutters just because it's got such a thick coating on it. Should be able to twist it off. So, double check that it's going to work. It's going to be perfect. <clears throat> Once you got that, so you're going to heat up the end of it. Just going to start warming it. What you want to happen is you want this to get hot enough to where the solder actually adheres to it and the solder is just not melting in there because otherwise it will just pull apart. There we go. I like to fill it about a third of the way. And then when you're ready, you're just going to take your wire, dunk it in there. Hold it till she cools down. <clears throat> Alright, so once you have your end soldered on, you're going to take your plastic coupler pieces. They got a positive and a negative on there. And the way you're going to want to do this is you got a rounded part. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is like rounded here. If you flip it over, this is more of a sharp 90. The sharp 90 is going to hook on to uh, those little metal pieces in there. So what you're going to do is you're just going to push them in. Red for positive, black for negative. You should hear like a click. Got a click. Now it's locked in. So we're just going to double check that uh, these connect up, and they do. So now I should have about 12 feet of cable that will reach to the back of my truck at the headache rack where I have another quick connect hooked up to my batteries on the truck so that I can power the winch off my truck. I also have a jumper cable that's about 12 feet long, same quick connect, and then I have alligator clips on the other end if I have to jump somebody's vehicle but now with this I can hook my jumper cables up to this and then have about almost 30 feet of cable if I have to jump somebody's vehicle which you probably have never need that but now I got it so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this winch build